Hello and welcome back to another video. Today going over all you need to know about the upcoming Series 35 update for Forza Horizon 5 with the theme of Modern Horizons, including new playlist rewards, but also the car packs are back. Let's begin by getting straight into what's in the festival playlist, starting with the overall series prizes. For 80 points, we can win the Kia EV6 GT, which marks the return of Kia as a manufacturer, absent since Horizon 4. And for 160 points, there is another chance for us to win the Razer Tachyon. In summer season, which begins on Thursday the 20th of June, for 20 points, we can win yet another new Mustang. This time, it's the Dark Horse. I'm not quite sure why they added the standard one too, if this was coming so soon, but it's still cool, it's just kind of... We have far too many Mustangs at this point. And for 40 points, there is another chance to win the Porsche Mission R. In autumn season, which begins on Thursday the 27th of June, for 20 points we can win the Hyundai Ioniq 5N, and for 40 points there is another chance to win the Nissan Z. In winter season, which begins on Thursday the 4th of July, for 20 points we can win the highly requested Toyota GR Yaris, finally, which I very much look forward to and is probably my favourite car in this update. The GR Yaris will also have not one, but two wide body kits. And for 40 points there is another chance to win the Mercedes AMG E63. And finally in spring season, which begins on Thursday the 11th of July, for 20 points we can win the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, which is the much cooler estate version of the all-electric Taycan. And I actually just drove that in Solar Crown demo, um, despite the devs insisting that it's exclusive to this game, which to be fair it sort of is until that game comes out. Um, but it's also one of the few electric vehicles I actually quite like. And for 40 points there is another chance to win a Ford Fiesta rally car thing. That's all for the new cars that are free and in the playlist, but unfortunately there are five new vehicles in yet another paid car pack, or three to be more accurate, because this new universal themed pack contains three of the same car. Those are the DeLorean from Back to the Future 1, the DeLorean from Back to the Future 2, and the DeLorean from Back to the Future 3. It also contains kit from Knight Rider, which has some cool aero body kit options to make it go into pursuit mode or something, and a Jeep from Jurassic Park. The pack will be priced at £7.99 here in the UK or equivalent elsewhere, and will be available once the update goes live this evening. To be fair, unlike the previous car pack, at least the content isn't just copied straight from another game into this game, so they must have had to put some work into it. And I have to say, the attention to detail on the interiors of the DeLorean is particularly impressive. However, all of these cars are very similar to the base models which are already in the game. We already have a DeLorean, we already have a Jeep, and we already have the car that Kit is based on. Um, so... They can't have had to do that much, given they had a solid base to work from for all three of these. Um, and I kind of feel like they can't really keep adding packs this often. Unfortunately, given that Horizon 6 is unlikely to be anytime soon, given it wasn't unveiled at the Xbox Showcase thing recently, I think these packs will continue to arrive, at least in every other update which is a bit of an improvement to them arriving every time, but it's still too often. They need to be like every three or six months to be worth buying all of. On a much more exciting note, there are once again some more new Event Lab props. They've added 17 new pieces, including a robot collectible for some reason, but also a selection of more new road pieces so that we can create different style motorways with pavements and curbing, as well as some bridge supports so that we can make our own raised flyovers. There is also a new Velvet Shark outfit that we can put on our character, because of course there is. And finally, as always, we got a sneak peek at what's in store in the following series. Series 36 is going to be called Horizon Cars and Coffee, 
and feature new cars as always, but also a coffee shop location, whatever that might end up being, a new collectible and new clothing items. And that is everything that's coming in the Series 35 update for Forza Horizon 5. The playlist is a little mixed for me, I'm very excited for the GR Yaris, and strangely, I'm quite interested in the Taycan Cross Turismo, but I'm not really bothered by the rest. The Mustang I would be looking forward to if we hadn't recently received such a similar model. Seeing car packs return is disappointing, as I thought that there was a small chance they might have stopped. On the one hand, it's not as bad as the previous one, because the cars aren't straight up just copied, but on the other hand, three of the five are essentially the same car, and they still want us to pay the full $7.99 price for it. Anyway, that is going to be all. As ever, do let me know your thoughts on this latest update for Forza Horizon 5, and what you're most looking forward to in it. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.